We're looking at four-year-olds that have ran in point to points in Ireland. There's some nice horses here and, you know, we have a budget so we hopefully we can get something to fit the budget. Hopefully we can try and pick the right one, really. We, we all like different ones for different reasons, you know. And a bit like your girlfriend, isn't it, you know? Can't all pick the same one. We know what we want to get, but whether we can get it for the, for the budget, that's the hard bit. So, fingers crossed, we need a bit of luck. Yeah, Matt helps us buy um, all our horses really and uh, he's a bit like a walking computer when it comes down to pedigrees and form and all that so uh, he does a good job for us. So It's a good job but a tricky job trying to find the right horse you want uh, within budget. There's lots of competition. Very few people in the world have endless budgets to spend so it's part of my job to find the best horse I can to fit the type of horse an owner wants and also within budget. I actually probably get more of a buzz if it was a horse for a limited budget because I feel like it's much more of a challenge to buy a good horse for a small budget. You always enjoy the sales really because you're always hoping to pick the right one aren't you you know and how to get one that you like and get it at the right money it's always satisfying really then when you pay too much for them and they're not much good then it's soul destroying it keeps us all going we enjoy it and when we get a winner we think we're we've conquered again. It's a challenge because you have to find a horse that's going to be within budget and also obviously in the auction ring they're sold in catalogue order so you need to decide if I don't bid on lot 3 and wait for lot 21 for example am I going to be able to afford 21 when I could have afforded lot 3. There's all those kind of decisions to make and um, factors to bear into consideration before we bid on one. I'm very selective with the type of horse I buy so I don't just buy a horse for the sake of it. If you're buying a racehorse that's run, obviously what they did on the track is the most important factor. Whereas if you're buying a foal or a yearling, their physicality, how they move, their athleticism is obviously as important as you know the pedigree or anything like that. Different types of horses require different skills and different points of importance that I put on each horse. John, Joe and I and um, the Coral team decided to wait for a few of the horses towards the end of the sale and unfortunately they all just all went over budget. We were under bidder on two of them. We actually stretched the budget from what initially was the plan to spend. We actually went a bit stronger and still didn't buy them. So it was frustrating but equally we, we concentrated on the right horses I felt and we, we bid strong and just couldn't afford them and you know, that's, that's a horse sale, you just move on to the next sale. We picked out a good few nice horses and they just went too much money just the minute you think you have one and they just went a few quid more so it's very difficult really but plenty more horses for sale there's another sale that got the new sale we might have a chance there we'll keep trying we're not going to give up that easy Lot 15, hey day baby, yes hey day baby. Yes, we've been Goff's Sandown sale. It was a very small catalogue, there's only two or three for the Coral team. 45 around again, sold across, 45 and she goes this time to Jack Dawes Castle. Thank you, John Joe and Eagle Bird sir, thank you. We were pleased to get hey day baby. She's a filly that we liked. She's got a good pedigree. She's from the family of a very good filly called Vadana Blue and another good uh, gelding that Nikki Henderson trained called Mr. Whipped, both black type performers. Nice filly. She ran a few times, got a bit of experience. She's bred to get a trip, really. That's your nice filly, ready to go forward. She's done enough running as a four year old, so she should be able to continue. And I'd say she wants probably soft ground. Yeah, look, really looking forward to getting going with her. The angle I saw in her was that each run previously she'd been dropped in at the back but her latest start when she won they bounced her out in front and I, I felt they got a lot of improvement out of her for a change in tactics and you know, we, we saw a few angles that allowed us to afford her so um, hopefully we're right and we'll find out in time won't we. Good attitude, I'd imagine we'd probably go hauling with her and then obviously look forward to going chasing with her in time you know, there's plenty of time really. I think hopefully we've done the right thing and we've got the right horse now. So. I'm um, really looking forward to getting going with her.